Hello everyone. Today I am Rishabh Bhardwaj, assistant professor in St Andrews Institute of Technology and Management, Gurgaon, taking the lecture nine of subject automobile department mechanical engineering semester sixth. Today we will discuss the topic drive line, universal joint, differential, and drive axis. First we will discuss about drive we have three types of drive first is rear, rear wheel drive second front wheel drive and third is four wheel drive first we will discuss about rear wheel drive in rear wheel drive we have the component that is engine torque converter transmission and final drive and drive shafts these are the main components of the rear wheel drive rear wheel drive is a form of engine and transmission layout used in automobile where the engines are rarely uh, rear wheel only until the late 20th century the rear wheel was the most common configuration for cars most rear wheel drive vehicles feature a longitudinally mounted engine at the front of the car if we discuss about the location of engine and transmission the most common layout for rear wheel car, rear wheel drive car is with the engine and transmission at the front of the car mounted longitudinally other other layouts of rear wheel drive can car include front mid engine and rear mid engine and rear engine let's discuss about front wheel drive front wheel drive is a form of engine and transmission layout used in auto automobile vehicles where the engine and the front wheels are only the most common front wheel vehicle feature ha has a transverse engine rather than the conventional longitudinal engine arrangement generally found in rear wheel drive and front wheel vehicles if we discuss about the location of the engine and the transmission by far the most common layout for the front wheel drive car is with the engine and the transmission at the front of the car mounted transversely other layout of front wheel drive car can be occasionally produced are a front engine mounted and longitudinally and a mid engine layout and rear rear engine layout for the front wheel ca car drive uh, we we have the component engine transaxial torque converter and final drive there is the elimination of propeller shaft or universal joints as compared to front uh, rear wheel drive the drive shaft the the most commonly used to transfer the torque from the engine through the transmission output shaft to the differential in the axle which is turned transmit torque to the wheels the drive the drive shaft can made out of steel and aluminium and can be either solid or hollow a splined slip yoke assembly permits the drive shaft to move forward and rearward as the axle moves up and down this provides smooth performance during the vehicle operation now we have a universal joint we can also known as the universal joint as a cv joint as the shape of the universal joint uh, in the shape of u as well as the c so we have we have put the name u joint and and cv joint the engine is mounted rigidly rigidly to the vehicle frame while the driven wheel are freely move up and down in relation to the vehicle frame the angle of the driven and driven shaft and the angle housing or driven wheel change constantly at various respond to various road conditions hence u joint are used to provide flexibility let's uh, discuss more about the u joint universal joint allow the drive shaft to move up and down with the suspension 
while the shaft is moving so power can be transmitted when the driver shaft is in in a straight line between the transmission and drive wheels rear wheel drive vehicles have universal joint at both ends to the drive shaft u joints connect connect to yokes that allow drive shaft to move fore and aft as vehicle go over bumps and dips in the road which effectively shorten or strengthen the shaft front drive vehicles also use two two joints called constant velocity that is cv joints they are kind of, uh, they are different kind that also compensate for steering changes on rear drive vehicles one sign of warm u joint is clank sound that a driver that the driver gear is engaged on front drive the vehicle have cv joint often make clicking noise while they want cv joint are covered by protect, protective rubber boot uh, and if the boot cracks uh, uh, or are otherwise damaged the cv joint will lose their lubrication and get damaged dirt and moisture let's more discuss about constant velocity joints or cv joints a conventional universal joint can will cause the drive shaft to speed up or slow through each revolution and cause corresponding change in the velocity of the driven shaft this change in speed cause neutral vibration to occur through the drive line in cv joint or double cardan joint two yoke and two cross universal joints connected to each other by coupling yoke this is a uniform motion as the driver shaft rotates avoiding the fluctuation in driving speed you can see in the figure we have a ball shaft yoke universal joint coupling yoke universal j joint and rear flange yoke let's come to the topic that is differential and rear axle drives in the in this uh, topic we will cover the introduction of differential drive construction of different differential drive principle and working of the differential drive and the function of di differential drive in rear axle drive we will discuss about the introduction part then the type of rear axle drive then advantage and disadvantage of rear axle drive let's starting with the introduction of the differential a differential is a device capable of transmitting torque and rotation through three shafts almost always used in one of the two ways in one way it receives one input and provides two output this is found in most automobiles a differential is used to allow the wheels to spin at different speeds the function of the differential unit is to allow different speeds of the two wheels if we see the figure we have a car which is turning in on a road and the right right wheels the right wheels have a radius making the radius from the center is 10 meter and the the outer rears or left uh, left wheel left uh, left wheel left wheels making the angle of 1.15 meters on that curve the whole car is moving on the curve curve making a curve over the road when a car is moving along a bend in the road the inner wheel is will be rotating at the lower speed than its of outer wheels that's why we are able to turn or move our vehicle on a turning road otherwise we will go straight uh, perpendicular or tangentially straightward to the road construction of differential the differential have the different components that will, that that are crown wheel pinion planetary gears sun gear 
pinion offside angle shaft planetary gears different shafts near side angle shafts and sun gear these are the this this is the construction of construction of differential let's discuss how the differential works a differential is a gear train with three shafts that has the property that rotates rotation have rotational rotational speed of one shaft is average to the speed to the others and fixed multiple of the average again we will see if we see the figure the right side wheels is rotate is is under the in influence of the rotation by with the help of centripetal force these wheels have to rotate less than the outer wheels otherwise we are not able to move on a curve path the rotate the speed or the speed or the rotation or torque will of right right side will get transferred to the left wheels and the left wheels will move faster or more than right wheels then we are able to move on a curve path all these action are been taken place by the help of differential if we discuss about the uh, differential in automobile and the other wheel vehicles the differential allow the outer drive wheels to rotate faster than the inner wheel while during the turn this is necessary when the vehicle turns make the wheel that is traveling around the outside of the turning curve roll for, uh, further and faster than other the average of rotational speed of two driving wheel equal the input rotational speed to the driving shaft an increase in the speed of one wheel is balanced by decrease in the speed of others when used in this way a different a differential couple along the longitudinal input propeller shaft to the pinion which is in turn drives and the transfer ring gears of the differential this also usually work as reduction gearing on rear wheel drive vehicle vehicles the differential may connect to half shaft inside an axle housing or drive shaft that connect the rear driving wheels the front wheel drive vehicles tends to have engine crank shaft and gearbox transfer uh, shaft transfers and with the opinion and the and the pinion on the end of the main shaft of the gearbox and differential enclosed in the same housing as the gearbox these are individual drive shaft to e to each wheel a differential connects to one shaft and two output which is connected to the drive wheels however the rotation of the drive wheels are coupled to each other by their connection of connection of or to the roadways under normal condition with tire slip small tire slip the rotation of the speed of the two driving wheel is defined by the ratio of the radii of the path around which two wheels are rolling which in turning is determined determined by the track width of the vehicle and the radius of the turn for non automotive uses of differential include performing analog arithmetic the two of the differential three shaft are made to rotate through angles that represent two numbers and the angle of the third shaft rotates represent the sum of the difference of two inputs inputs number the earliest known the earliest known as the differential gear in the antikara mechanism which is used a differential gear to control a small sphere representing the moon from the dif uh, from the difference between the sun and the moon position pointer the ball the ball was painted black and white in hemisphere and graphically shown the figure the moon of the particular point in the time for example the direction in which a gun should be aimed the development of electronic digital computer 
has made the three uses of differential obsolete. Military uses still exist Let's discuss about the application of differential. A vehicle with two drive has a problem that when it turns to a corner, the driver wheel must rotate at di different speed to maintain the traction. The automobile differenti differential is designed to drive a pair of wheel while allowing them to rotate at different speed. In vehicle with a differential such as cart, both driving wheels are forcing to rotate at the same speed usually a common axle driving by simple chain mechanism while corning the cornering corning the inner wheel travels a shorter distance than the outer wheel so without a differential either the inner wheel rotates too quickly or the outer wheel rotates too slowly which result in difficult and unpredictable handling damage the tires and roads and strain on the driven train in rear wheel automobile the central drive shaft engages the differential through ring and pinions the ring gear is mounted on the carrier of the planetary gears that form the differential the this ring uh, ring and pinion gear is bevel gear that changes the direction of the rotation the drive ro rotation now we have some epic cyclic train an analysis in which the n represents the number of teeth and the number of uh, speed of the cage while t represent the torque of gear a and p respectively the speed of the crown wheel that is nc is equal to 1000 into tp by tc and where tp is number of the teeth on the bevel pinion and tc is the number of teeth on the crown wheel we have already dis discussed about the principle and the operation of differential as you can see th these are the rear wheel real wheel differential type and this is our half shaft rear half shaft the inner wheel axle has stopped by hand if you can see that one uh, one shaft is locked by a simple hand but the differential unit is still rotating the rotation of the differential will still going on the outer wheel is now rotated at faster speed a similar arrangement is made in the differential unit if we stop one shaft then the differential still playing its role and get revolution and transfer all the motion to the outer wheel this is the basic diagram of differential which have the pin and the pin, pin gear pairs drive shaft and and the other components now at the time of straight road and the time of turning we have discussed have a discussion on differential during the vehicle turn straight the wheel of the wheel of the rear axle will screened by the driver pinion through the ring gear differential case wheel and wheel differential gear pinion shaft uh, side gear teeth is not spinning and remain the remain to be drawn into in, into ring gear rotation that the spin of the wheel left and right alike at the time of turning at the time of uh, at the time of vehicle turning left prisoner left wheel is bigger than the right wheel if the differential case with the ring gear rotates the pinion will rotate on the axis and also move movement around the left side gear so around the right hand right hand side the gear in the gear increases the side where the number of revolution of the gears which is two times around the around the ring gear let's discuss about the function of the differential it is further reduce the rotation coming from the gearbox and reduce the same are passing to the rear axle changes the direction 
of axis of rotation is powered by 90s that is being longitudinal to the transfer direction to distribute power equally to both rear and dri driving axle when the traction is moving in straight ahead direction to distribute the power as per the requirement to the driving axle during the turning now we have a topic rear axle drive rear axle drive are the driven drive are the drives which employs for the rear axle spring and take the weight of the body in the most of the front engine rear wheel drives car the rear axle are used for transmitting power for differential for the differential to driving wheels rear axle avoid bending load and the various forces torques experienced by the rear axle the rear wheel have the torsion reaction in the torsion reaction we have a driving thrust the thrust to be produced in the road due to humps weight of the body that is the cause bending moment in the axle shaft is covered by the torque reaction and the side factor and the side wave factors that is moving along the curves now what are the advantages and disadvantages of rear axle drives first we have we will discuss about the advantages for the better handling in dry conditions we use a rear axle drives for more predictable steering in low traction condition that is ice or gra gravels we will we will must use the rear axle drives these are less costly and easy to maintain even it is of very light weight and distributed in very light way in we uh, now we will discuss about the disadvantages the disadvantages of rear axle drives are it is more difficult to master then we have decrease interior space and also it increase the weight of the automobile and it is not economic these are expensive and not easily available in the market these are the advantages of rear axle drives hope you will find the much innovative or knowledge from this lecture now stay tuned for our new lecture that will be uploaded soon and stay tuned and 